I always lived above the ocean and uh, I lived right above a wharf and I was always like, I wonder what lives underneath that wharf. And I thought, yeah, the only way I'm going to find out is to get that ticket and get under there and see. Ghost diving for us here in New Zealand is, um, we're a team of divers, shore crew, free divers and kayakers that want to get out there and make a difference, hauling out all the junk and stuff that ends up in the sea here in uh, New Zealand. Uh, trying to get as much of that rubbish out is really important for us, obviously from an environmental perspective and improving the uh, ocean. Uh, one of the primary reasons I got into ghost diving here in New Zealand was just seeing the amount of junk. Um, every dive we've gone out in some of the harbours, you know, we see bottles, cans, even shopping trolleys. And I said to myself, I said, oh, I think it's about time we started doing something about this. The highlights for starters was a no-brainer. We needed something that can take a lot of gear, take a lot of abuse. Tire-wise, we needed something that was going to grip the ground. We do a lot of recoveries from beach, gnarly sort of rock, stuff like that. We needed something that could work in both sand and pretty much any environment. I have to laugh with the uh, with the razors on the road being a mud tire. You know, I'm pretty well. Uh, I've had a few four by fours in my time, and usually you're half deaf, have to turn the stereo up trying to hear over the over the road noise of the tires, but. No, the, uh, the razors are by far, they're actually quieter than some of the ATs that I've owned. Amazing. Um, one of the things I've definitely noticed is its ability to manage soft sand, which is something we do deal with a lot here on the south coast, um, is very, very good. And having that ability to have a certain amount of confidence when you're going through that soft sand is pretty critical. We've had them in, you know, really rugged beach environments, right down to the water's edge. We've been hauling out large, heavy nets loading them into the back and touch wood, we've never been stuck yet. It's extremely rare for us to get some people to approach us, but Maxis came to us and asked if they could help us out with the environmental work that we do, and they've provided us with sponsorship, and uh, that's been truly amazing. As a completely sole voluntary organisation to have people put their hands up and say, hey guys, we love what you're doing, we want to help you out. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that.